I was sick for two and a half weeks in April. If you watch some of the vlogs I did in April, I didn't have a voice. I finally got better, but it's now May 16th and I'm on day four of being sick again. So I'm forcing myself to take a sick day and you guys are gonna come with me. I thought I would explain what it means when I say I'm taking a sick day because I know my job can be confusing. I work part time at a center for children with special needs and so I work directly with kids and I work with the staff that I oversee that work with the kids and that's why I work a lot of times in the evenings and on weekends all because I work with our school aged. So I go to the center usually from like 2 to 6 at night and then on Saturdays and the rest of the time I have a lot of paperwork for that job but I'll just do that at home and I run my own company making materials for special education teachers because that's what I was prior to working at the center and I can do that at home as well. So I only have to go to the center when I have kids there and I don't have any kids there today. So when I say I'm taking a sick day, I have a very hard time like not going when the kids are there. So it did make it easier knowing I had no reason to go to the center. So I'm just taking all of that work I do at home and I'm pushing it to later in the week because I don't have any important deadlines. But I am gonna force myself just to slow down because I never did that in April. And like I said, I was sick for a while. So I'm gonna force myself to slow down today, try and drink a ton of lemon water, tea, and just watch Hallmark movies, read, relax, and see if I can give myself some time to recover. But I suck at doing that. So that's why I thought I would vlog it, because if I'm vlogging it, then I'm actually gonna do the relaxing stuff instead of getting on my computer. So that's why you guys are tagging along. So I just put together a sick basket and I got kind of winded doing it, so I'm glad I'm taking the sick day. But I thought if I put this together and I just had options of really like low energy things, I would do a better job at like, I have to do something. Like I'm not very good at sleeping during the day and if I'm not doing anything, the impulse to work will kick in. So I just have like a coloring book, my dog mom coloring book with coloring pencils. I love good housekeeping magazines, but I never read them. So I put the May 2022 one in here that's a year old. I thought I could still bookmark some spring recipes, so I have post-it notes. I have the books I'm reading, so final offer, and then I'm going to start a new book on my Kindle that I'll talk about in a minute. I have liquid IV, a ton of tea, hauls, tissues, and my iPad, so I can check my work email only when I take medicine. So it's 7.30 right now. I'll take medicine again at 10.30 and then again at 2.30. I can only check my email at 10.30 and 2.30 and respond to anything urgent. So I'm hoping this and talking to you guys will actually make me give my body the rest it desperately needs. The book I'm mainly going to be reading in this vlog is Under the Stars by Laura Pavlov. This is an arc that I forgot about. So it comes out on Thursday. We'll see if I can get it done. I thought I could try and get a good dent of it done today. I did read the first one in the series, Into the Tide, and I loved that. I'll post a TikTok I did for it below. But I loved that one, and I remember it being a fast read, so I'm hoping that this will be engaging, and I can just, like, read this for a lot of today. So you'll mainly be seeing me read this, but I do have the final offer in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I'm doing a vlog for that as well. I have that as a backup if I want to read, but I need a break from this storyline. But I'm going to go make some breakfast start reading this and then go be it back in bed as soon as possible. When I went downstairs to take more medicine, I also made myself a medicine ball dupe from Starbucks, kind of. So they do half lemonade, half water. I don't have lemonade, so I did all water, but I did the juice of one pretty big lemon, a big squeeze of honey, and then I did have the Tivana peach tranquility tea that they use, so I threw that in there, and then I just threw in a peppermint tea bag as well. So I'm gonna put on this really cute Hallmark movie. It's called, let me double check the title, yes, Love in the Forecast. It's just a cute, kind of cheesy, perfect spring movie. So I'm gonna put that on, I'm gonna read my magazine for a little bit, and hopefully between the tea and the medicine, I can start to feel a little bit better because it's been a rough morning.
So I finally finished the Be the Person Your Dog Thinks You Are coloring page that I've been working on for a while, but I'm more excited for the one I'm about to start. If I can't bring my dog, I'm not going. Very accurate. Well, not always, but I wish I could use that as an excuse. Speaking of, why is my dog not with me? Buster, come here. Yeah, come here. He's like the best person to have by my side when I don't feel well. Yeah. Sweet boy. So I finished the movie and I tried to get back into this book. I'm going to go ahead and DNF it. If you don't like books, don't waste the time on them. So I'm switching back to Final Offer, and I will do some more filming, but I'm not going to talk about this book because, like I said, I am vlogging this, so this will go up before that. But if you're watching this vlog, the next one that gets posted will be the Dreamland Billionaires vlog. So you'll see me reading it in this vlog, but we're not going to talk about it, if that makes sense. You guys didn't see me vlog again today because my husband got home and we went for a nice walk together and then we do this talk about it Tuesday thing where we just like come together and talk about any bills that have to be paid, any things that have to be scheduled and so we did that and then my energy was kind of gone again so we just had dinner and watched Gilmore Girls and I made one more of my little medicine ball dupe drink and I'll put down in the description exactly what I did for this. It's not the exact same as Starbucks um, so I can put what I, the recipe I saw and then how I adapted it for you guys but I am really liking it so I made one more and I'm running a bath right now because I thought that might be soothing and I am going to keep reading the final offer but I'm going to switch over to the candle and I'll check in with you guys one more time before I go to bed but that'll be within the hour because I, I need some more sleep. So like I said, I'm reading the Dreamland Billionaires books for another vlog, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I do want to say I love Final Offer as well. I actually read almost half of it today, and I'm hooked on it, so be sure to check that vlog when it's up. But thank you guys for spending my sick day with me because I actually did no work. I was contacted a couple times through my phone, but I just texted back and then put the phone down. And so I'm hoping that my body got the rest that it needed, so I'm going to take some more cough syrup in case you guys care my nasal spray and go get in bed and then keep reading this I actually don't have to go to work until tomorrow afternoon so I'm going to try to take it easy tomorrow morning as well but by checking in with you guys that's what made me not work so doing this vlog really helped me and I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me